If you do go on to enjoy today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button and of course subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And if you want to avoid the random lottery that is FIFA points, you can go straight to the source with u7buy.com. And of course, you can use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to another episode of Team of the Week Predictions, week 23 I believe, only the one silver to talk about this week. There's a couple of um, dynamic cards potentially on the up uh, to talk about during the video as well. Vlahovic up first with two goals, one of which was a penalty, the game finished 5-1 to Fiorentina, they absolutely slapped about Sampdoria. Judge of Ipswich up next with two goals, one assist. He also picked up man of the match. This could be a central card. I'm really not sure because the data on the game is a little bit, like, weird. I don't know whether he actually played on the left or in the middle. So take that with a pinch of salt. Uh, up next is Woodrow. Uh, Woodrow of Barnsley with two goals, one assist. Very similar. In fact, the exact same return. Uh, the game finished 3-0 in that one. Not a great card, if I'm honest. Kind of reiterates my point that every inform should be 80 rated minimum. Koro Kone, maybe? I, I had really like a hard time finding this guy. Uh, he's got himself a hat-trick in a 4-1 win, so he will definitely get the uh, the inform. But I, I really did struggle to find the card. I don't know why that is. I hope he's in the game. Linson up next. Two goals, one assist. Uh, this is going to be a difficult one. Again, did he play left wing? I've got a funny feeling he played left wing, not striker. Either way, um, Dutch League, EA, they don't really go hand in hand, so I'm not sure about that one. David up next from Ghent, of course, Canadian striker. Actually, doesn't look too bad. Again, if he was 80 rated, he'd look a little bit better. He got two goals and a 3-2 win. But once more, EA and the and the Belgian League don't really get on either, so I would, uh, would not be surprised to not see him there. Jermaine of Marseille up next with one goal and one assist in a 2-1 win. Doesn't look like an amazing card if I'm honest though. Aside from Marseille fans, I can't imagine many people would be that interested in it. But still, deserves to be there or thereabouts. Up next is Ritz and again another Belgian league player. Of course the Premier League is sort of not really underway right now. You know there's like that sort of winter break. Uh, Ritz has managed to get two goals. So I actually wouldn't be surprised to see more random league players in there but EA don't really like players outside of the top five uh Zainadine is how you probably don't say it he got one goal but he's a center back and he kept a clean sheet the game finished uh 3-0 it doesn't look like a too bad a card for an 80 rated and you'd hope that with lack of leagues going players like him and Leandro for instance with two goals and a 5-2 win would be able to creep in there uh, Japanese league still playing, of course, and uh, Leandro in contention. The Chinese league has been postponed until like mid-April or something due to the virus. Uh, Gunnuk with seven saves and a clean sheet in a 1-0 win, and it was against Besiktas as well, one of their closest rivals in terms of the title. So that's a big enough game for me to warrant having that card in there, albeit not the best. Let's move on to Diedrich Boyata, a player that uh, was tipped for big, big things several years ago. I'm talking maybe five or six years ago now. and I don't know how old he is, but he's obviously starting to get on a bit. But he did get one goal in a 2-1 win for Hertha Berlin. Is that enough for a defender? It could be this week. Patrick Schick up next with... One goal and one assist in a 3-0 win. I very, very nearly bought this guy on the football index just before kickoff. And I decided against it. And then he popped up with a goal and an assist. And I ended up losing a little bit of money. Well, not losing, but missing out, should we say. Mukiele is the other option from Leipzig. He played right back. He's normally a centre-back, of course. He got one goal in that 3-0 win. I wasn't tempted to buy him. He was like... A little bit too expensive. If you're interested in the football index, by the way, it's basically football stock market. It's, it's brilliant. The link is down below. It's fantastic. I love it. Stindle up next. A big jump from the 81 to the 83. There's no 80, no more 81s, no more 82s in between. Straight into the 83s with Stindle for two goals in a 4-1 win. Uh, he, once upon a time, was banging in goals for Borussia Mönchengladbach. And he was getting informs every week. At one point, I think he had like 10 special cards. I can't remember what FIFA that was. Hamdala up next with three goals, one of which was a penalty. The game finished 4-2 in the Saudi League, of course. He has been fairly consistent for the last few seasons. I would doubt, no disrespect, he'd be able to do it in a top five league. But uh, banging him in in that league definitely deserves an upgrade. Verghorst has ended the goal drought. He's got himself a hat trick. All three of them. Were all three of them penalties? I'm pretty sure two of them were penalties and one from open play. I can't quite remember. Either way, I know he scored a couple of penalties. And the game finished 3-2 to um, 
Wolfsburg, but he was on a bit of a goal drought. He's ended that now. Moving on to Roberto, Sergio Roberto at right back. One goal in a 2-1 win for Barcelona. Um, not the best of cards, if I'm honest, because, I mean, it's just not as it is. Well, rounded, don't get me wrong, but as a right back, realistically, you want a little bit more pace, maybe more defensive capability. Uh, speaking of right backs, peace check up next. And, of course, this is only useful to you if... You didn't do the flashback. He got one goal in a 4-0 win for Dortmund. Dortmund just love scoring goals. And if EA didn't have silly rules, Sancho would be on 104 rating by now. And Haaland wouldn't be too far behind him. Pasalic, potential move to Chelsea, I think, is on the cards. Currently of Atalanta. Picked up a goal in Atalanta's 2-1 win over Roma. Gossens was another option in there. He got an assist. I'm not sure if they're desperate for full backs, but if they are, just bear that in mind, although no visual representation. Benitez of Nice up next. Now, this is an inter not an interesting story, but he, he got a um, clean sheet in a 2-0 win for Nice. Saved a penalty. Sounds like a great performance, right? Nice were up against nine men for most of it. Toulouse got two players sent off, and they very nearly didn't win the game. It was a, a last-minute penalty save from Benitez, and then they went up the other end and scored. Bergwis up next with two goals and one assist in a 4-3, 4-3? Yeah, 4-3 win for Feyenoord. Doesn't look like a terrible card, to be honest. At the moment, though, I know what you're thinking. This team of the week is dead. And you're not far wrong. This is the best card so far. We're not actually that far from the end. Although, something to sink your teeth into. Pepe could potentially be in contention for an inform with one goal, two assists in a 4-0 win. As he has a once to watch, I'd be very surprised if EA didn't give it to him. I was watching the Arsenal game as he scored. And I very quickly went on to, I say very quickly, I looked then at, at uh, the market and he was selling for about 80k. And I was like hesitant. I was like, well, should I buy him? I don't know. And the next thing I knew, he's 180k. So yeah, I missed out there. Uh, Milinkovic Savic up next of Lazio. He got a goal, what turned out to be the winning goal in a 2-1 win over Inter, which now puts Lazio in a firm position to challenge Juventus for the first time in, what, 10 years for the title, would you believe? Inter were in a very strong position. They've kind of half thrown that away now, but uh, Milinkovic Savic goal could be very important. Hakimi up next with, of course, he, I think he got an upgrade didn't he did he get an upgrade for the winter refresh can't remember uh, that promo even though it's underway is a, like a distant nightmare to be honest at this point he got two assists in Dortmund's 4-0 win so whether they go for him or whether they go for a uh, peace check I, I'm not sure but either way uh, Muller up next this is um, an interesting one I don't think Muller will get the inform but he got two assists in a 4-1 win there is another player up next actually from Bayern Munich that could get it. But um, Muller is just flying under the radar right now. He's got like 14 assists, five goals this season, which is, I think, nearly the most in Europe in terms of assists, which is crazy. Uh, Nabry is the other player in contention. Of course, he got two goals in that 4-1 win. Great little player. Uh, very, not inconsistent, but he has like sort of spurts of, of form, you know, like next week he'll probably play very re really well and the week after he might put in a shift and then he'll just die down for a few weeks and then he'll be back again. He's definitely one of those type of players. I think he'll be the one to get the inform. Uh, Moreno, another dynamic card up next. Then one goal, one assist for Villarreal in a 2-1 win. That should theoretically at least be enough as he has a headliner and that's pretty much what it'll look like as he was a right wing as well. I'm not sure what happens to the position of the card. I think it stays the same, right? And then the inform is the one that gets changed if they do play out of position. Tagliafico is another one in contention with a headliner, one assist and a man of the match award and technically speaking a clean sheet for Ajax. I don't think they're close to their four wins in a row. There, there are players uh, who have hit four wins uh, this week. Obviously Liverpool have already done that, but there are other players for other teams who have hit their four wins. I forget who they are. I was meant to write them down, and I've completely forgot, so I do apologise. I was going to mention it. Our final player to speak of is going to be Hume Min Son. He did miss a penalty, I think, which could have given him the hat-trick, but he has got two goals besides that. And, of course, Spurs went on to win three goals to two. They don't do it easy this season, do they, Spurs? They are very much a let's-see-how-difficult-we-can-make-it-for-ourselves kind of team this year. But Hume Min Son's 89-rated card is going to equal that of the highest-rated Champions League card that he has. I believe. I don't think he has one higher. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure. Either way, that is going to do it, believe it or not. I mean, there aren't really that many great cards. Now, the, the interesting thing here is this week, they gave some really high-rated cards for absolutely no reason. 
what was the point of it? Either they knew the Winter Refresh promo was going to be rubbish and they wanted to have a decent Team of the Week in there, or they were meant to release the Team of the Week SBC and they've completely forgot about it, in which case if they decide to do it with this brand new Team of the Week, do not do not be surprised to see just random high-rated cards, just put it, like Ronaldo, he didn't even play, just be prepared for cards like that to be thrown in there because EA are on an agenda this year. I mean, more than more so than any other year. They are hell-bent on making as much money as possible. Do you reckon, and just a theory, they're trying to milk FIFA 20 for all it's worth because it's going to be the final cash cow before they can before they have to change things due to FIFA point uh, regulations. You know, like Belgium, you can't buy them. There's a couple of other countries that are following suit. That wouldn't surprise me if they were maybe trying to get as much money as they can out of this one yeah that's an interesting thought that's for a different video though of course there is another game on tonight chelsea manchester united uh i'm not gonna hazard a guess who's gonna get an inform from there but just keep an eye out for tammy tammy abraham uh of course he has a dynamic card but if you have enjoyed today's video do me a favor and hit that like button let me know if there's anyone i missed out in the comment section down below subscribe to the channel for new, of course and until the next time goodbye football index the game changed download the app now